This tutorial will cover how to do a point of sale refund. <coughs> Excuse me. To view this tutorial, you might want to press Alt Enter on your keyboard to view this in full screen if you're using Microsoft Windows Media Player. To do a point of sale refund, first find the person that you rang up the transaction under. Currently I'm viewing Jessica Baldwin. We're going to refund something she purchased earlier today. When I click to begin the refund, you will click the other button in the lower right, and then on the left click on Refund Find Receipt. You will see a list of all the receipts that this person has under their name. If you need to look up a receipt that is not under this person's name, you can click Show All Receipts in the top right, and then you can browse all receipts. I'm going to refund this item here, receipt number 95. Up at the top it says double click on a refund on a receipt to refund or void it. I'm going to double click on this particular receipt and then I can see the detail of the receipt. There was a water purchase t-shirt and an initiation fee. If I want to void the receipt I can click the void button in the lower left and that will completely zero out the receipt. That button is only visible for users that have a security level of five or higher. So your employees cannot void receipts without having logged in as a manager. To refund this particular receipt, I'm going to click Refund Receipt at the bottom. She's only going to get a refund of the initiation fee, so I'm going to select Water, delete that off the receipt, select T-shirt, delete that, and then her initiation fee is $75. If I wanted to keep $25 of that, I can click down here at the bottom in Non-Refundable Amount, and I could type in 25 The total amount of the refund would then be $50. In this case, I'm just going to make it zero. I'm going to click Refund Now. I'm going to refund it as the original form of the transaction, the original payment method, meaning cash. That way my drawer is not off for the day. When I click refund of cash, I can then print a receipt or choose no receipt. At this point I can add in a memo. Jessica was renegotiated. And then I'll click no receipt. A prompt will come up asking me if I want to refund this as the original date of the transaction or as of today. Being it happened today, I will say yes, but you can refund older transactions as of the original day or the current day. So it impacts the drawer for today or the cash drawer from that particular day. I'm going to say yes and then done. Transaction that's been refunded is number 96. I'm sorry, is number 95. Number 96 is the one in red. That is a refund transaction. Thank you for tuning in for, to this tutorial. We'll see you next time.